Quick Measure on Screen will help you to do your takeoffs from a CD, a PDF file, or any digital blueprint that you have downloaded from an online plans room or it's been sent to you by email. You do your takeoffs directly on screen simply by using the mouse on your computer to click around the blueprint image displayed on your screen to do your takeoffs for square footage, linear footage, and item counts. Quick Measure on screen will help you take off any blueprint image in any digital file format, a, P a PDF, a TIFF, bitmap, in whatever format the original blueprint was scanned. There is no digitizer equipment involved and no paper blueprints. You're simply using the mouse on your PC to click around the blueprint image on the screen to do your takeoffs for square footage, linear footage, and item counts. Quick Measure on screen will work fine in Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7 and does not require any special computer hardware, although we do recommend a larger monitor from 24 to 27 inches. Quick Measure on screen will work fine for all building trades except for earthwork. If you have an interest in earthwork cut and fill takeoff on screen, please call us at 1-800-731-3038. What you're looking at now on the screen is a sample Excel spreadsheet for doing paving takeoffs. It's a simplified version, but it's uh, meant to represent uh, how you would use the quick measure on screen with uh, your own Excel uh, sheets that you've already set up for yourself. When you load Excel, uh, up here, you'll notice uh, an add-in menu comes up at the top. You click on that, it brings up the uh, the quick measure uh, menus here and the takeoff icons here. Quick measure on screen will work with all versions of Excel. This happens to be Excel 2007, but it works fine with uh, you know version 2000 or 2003. Doesn't really matter. Uh, so we bring up our, our spreadsheet here, and uh, these are the takeoff icons that we'd use to do the takeoffs off the PDF. Uh, this icon here is for uh, using uh, doing a linear footage takeoff. So that's good for curb and gutter or walls, perimeters, anything you need to take off by the linear foot. To the right is the uh, takeoff icon for square footage measurements. Uh, to the right there is the uh, takeoff icon for linear footages and sections or segments, which is good for uh, you know, control joints or pipe and trench takeoff, whatever. And then you also have a uh, button here for taking off items, you know, if you need to count things off the drawing. Over to the right here is the icon we, we call the lookup icon. That allows you to go back if you need to, to take a quick look at any item that you've taken off on any of the PDFs. It'll bring you right back to that cell of the spreadsheet and then uh, bring you right up to that to the, uh, image that you took off on each uh, PDF sheet, which will be kept for you for future reference. Now, do our takeoffs. We'll go up here to our quick measure uh, pull-down menu here. Select for uh, manage on-screen images. I'm going to use the Add button here to go out, and now this is where we'll actually grab our PDFs. We go out to a CD that uh, somebody sent us, or we go out to uh, some Windows folders that we've made where we've downloaded some, uh, some PDF files uh, into, into some bin folders here, let's say. And we open up the Paving Plans folder here. We see there's one PDF here that we, that we have to work on. You can really work on multiple uh, PDFs. Uh, you can have 10 or, 10 or 15 different uh, PDFs up if you need to you know, put your bid together. It makes it really easy to uh, flip around various uh, sheets in case you need to reference uh, some details or some specs or whatever. Now, do our takeoff. We can take off one item at a time, or we can also uh, work on a, a range of items, so we'll highlight the range of items here. Now, we'll start with a square footage takeoff, so we'll use the square footage button up here at the top. And what that'll do is that'll go ahead and grab that PDF and bring it up onto the screen. This is the actual quick measure on screen uh, takeoff uh, program you're looking at now. Now what it did is it brought in that full sheet here. It's uh, kind of sitting here vertically, so let's use the rotate image button here on the top to swing that image around so we can work at it head on. And you notice you have a full sheet view here. Now for your uh, screen handling, work your way around the screen, you have the scroll wheel on your mouse. If you use that, you notice how it allows you to zoom in and zoom out real quick. We also have the uh, right hand button on your mouse that you can press down and it gives you this uh, hand uh, utility here. It allows you to kind of very quickly move your way around the drawing. You also have a uh, full sheet view in the lower left hand corner here so if you want to look around the drawing real quick you can kind of click the various areas on the drawing and it kind of brings them right over to you. So the idea behind these screen handling features is just to make sure that you've got a real cl a clear and concise view of uh, the drawing. I think you know, a lot of estimators worry with these uh, these new digital files that they might get uh, confused or miss something on the drawing, but uh, screen handling makes it uh, really easy, and you get used to it really quick. Uh, once, you've, once you've done a couple of takeoffs, it's amazing how quickly you uh, adjust visually to uh, looking, at, uh, looking at these PDFs and these sheets on screen. So let's kind of roll back out here, and we'll, we'll uh, 
go to our graphic scale here and we will set the scale. There's, got, if there's estimators out there that have used digitizers. No, you always have to apply a scale to whatever sheet you're working on. So we'll use the scale button here in the upper left hand corner. And we'll just simply click on one end of the dimension line, swing that over to the other end. And then we'll click on the OK Done button up here and we'll actually type in that that stands for 20 feet, that, that dimension right there. So that scales the drawing, it's 20 scale drawing. Now this drawing will then obtain its scale. We uh, you know, save it, come back to it, or it'll, it'll know that it's 20 scale. As a matter of fact, you can look down here on the lower right hand corner, you can see that it's 19.84 feet uh, to the end. So it actually is a 20 scale drawing. Now to do our takeoff, we'll kind of work, we'll bring the area up that we want to work on here. And we'll also uh, use, just like you would with a highlighter on a set of paper plans, we'll use some colors that we want to we want to use to do the takeoff and we'll just start in one corner of the area that we want to work on and we'll just simply mouse click our way around the perimeter it'll use the color red color we assigned and if you notice you mouse click around it'll just connect the dots uh, it goes in a straight line if you've just gone down the, the curve there otherwise you put a couple extra couple extra clicks whenever you go around a curve or whatever so you're simply really just clicking with your mouse here and you notice the color trails along behind you you just kind of go along, and you're just kind of clicking around, and the colors trailing, trailing with you. You can also uh, do uh, voids and subtractions if there's areas where there's, you know, there's a green area in there or the sidewalk or whatever. So we kind of go along, and the colors will follow along behind us. We'll go along, we'll go around and do this uh, particular area down here. Go out to the apron, come back. Notice this color and filling in behind us as we go. So we'll go all the way around, follow the curve line, we'll just kind of come back to where we started. And we'll come back here. Now you can double click on the last point and go do another area if you want to add it to this one. But otherwise we'd go back and uh, we'd hit the done button. And you notice what that'll do is that transfers that takeoff quantity directly back to that cell of our spreadsheet. So uh, whatever you have figured out for your Excel, of course, it will do whatever calculations are back there in your Excel. Guys have, you know, different things set up for thicknesses and tonnages and pricing and all that kind of stuff. Of course, this is a simplified version of an Excel sheet here, but you guys get the idea. It'll take that takeoff quantity directly back to that cell of your spreadsheet now. If we want to go back in and take off some more items, uh, we can go back here. We'll highlight that range of items. Let's say, for instance, we want to do a uh, curve and gutter or whatever. Now, by the way, you can take off that screen, that uh, the asphalt that we just did if you need to. It's kind of like a layer function and that you can see it in some of these CAD programs. But if we want to do curve and gutter, let's say, which is a linear footage, we can actually go in here and select, uh, you know, maybe a different type of color. We'll use maybe a green line or something like that kind of thing. We'll say it's going to be a linear measurement. So in that case, you're really just going to kind of go along here. And again, you're doing really the same thing. You're just basically clicking with your mouse. But you notice, of course, this is a linear footage measurement. So it's coloring along and with the, with the green uh, line that we selected. It has those little squares attached to it. The idea is just to make sure that you get a, a good a view of what you're doing here. Now, if you need to break that line, you can kind of just double click. And that allows you to come down the other side, let's say. And it's just going to follow along. And this is a linear footage measurement that you're making there. So again, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of connecting the dots here for us. Now again, when you hit the OK Done button here, you'll notice it'll throw that quantity directly back, the linear footage quantity we just took up, directly back to uh, that cell of the spreadsheet. So as you go through and do your takeoff, all the quantities will be transmitted back to whatever cell that you wanted them to go to as you were doing the takeoff. And you notice you have a, a full marked up a version of your PDF uh, sheet that you have here. You can print out on a piece of paper or you can even make notes and, uh, you know, give those to the guys in the field or whatever. Make small notes here for yourself if you want to. Like that. And uh, you can actually attach those notes there. Well, that's if you, if you know how to spell, I suppose, huh? But you guys get the idea of what we're doing here. Now, uh, and of course, that can then be saved and, and uh, printed out on a piece of paper. Now, for a more detailed uh, demonstration of the quick measure on screen, please feel, feel free to give us a call uh, at 1-800-731-3038. Uh, you can even send us a, a PDF file to do a takeoff for you, along with one of your own Excel spreadsheets, if you like. Uh, we just do that all online for you. 
Uh, so in the meantime, uh, we appreciate your time and um, good luck on those bids.